Years back, a lot of old towns, had the same names. Maybe the vocabulary, was slim back then, and there wasn't enough words to go around. Chloride is one such name, as there was a chloride in New Mexico, and there was also a chloride in Arizona. Today however, we are just going to take a peek at chloride New Mexico, and how it all got started. It all happened back in 1879, when Harry Pye, a prospector and mule skinner, was packing some freight through an area, known as the Black Range Mountains. Going along the trail he noticed what looked like some silver ore on the side of the mountain. Hand cobbling a few hunks of ore, he proceeded on his journey, delivering his load of goods. Once he got to town, he took these samples to a local assayer, and at that time found out that the ore was a high-grade silver. It was termed as, chloride of silver, and the so-called mother load, became known in time as the pie load. Once word got out of this high-grade find, it didn't take long and the whole area was swarming with prospectors from everywhere. This area, was well known as being Apache country, and those Apaches didn't take to having the white man hanging around, so there was often shootouts, and ambushes that would leave a few white settlers here or there, dead on the trail. In fact, it was less than a year after Harry Pye found his fortune, that he too was killed, by a band of Apaches. In 1881 a group of prospectors were camped out in the area, and met the same fate. Two men died while the rest just barely made off with their lives. By the early 1880s, the town had grown in size. No longer a tent town, there were now about two dozen houses and there was a store. Soon town lots were surveyed out, and by late 1883 Chloride had about 3,000 people. There were a number of saloons, three different stores, and a couple of eateries. There was a lumber yard, and a candy store, a post office, and even a lawyer had moved into town. Although Chloride was a peaceful family town compared to most towns back then, it did have a hanging tree, although it is said that it was never used. Of course by this time, there were several mines working in the area. Some of these mines were quite large employing many miners. The Silver Monument Mine was the main big mine that employed the most men. Other mines in the area included, the White Mountain Mine, and New Era Mine. During this time period about $600,000 worth of silver was mined out. A lot of money back in those days. By 1896, some of the ore started to run out, and a few of the mines closed. That same year however, the United States monetary standard was changed from silver to gold, and the price of silver plummeted. This destroyed any hope for any of the mines to continue on. Mines shut down, and people had to move on and by 1900 fewer than 100 people were living in Chloride. Today, Chloride is just a ghost town, but there are about 20 or so residents that still live there. The old Pioneer store has been refurbished along with a few other buildings, and you can still go there, and walk around. There is also a museum where you can see what life was like way back during the Silver Rush, 